Hey guys, welcome back to Ballastan TV and today we're doing the match reaction to last night's 3-1 win against Sligo at Daily Mount. Um, yeah, good win. Look, it was, it was another one of those games where we probably didn't start um the way we would have wanted, but look, we we, we got we got there in the end, got the three points that we so desperately needed um in the in the race for Europe. Obviously, there's there's four games left now. It was, it was important. We we went out and got the three points, put in a good performance, and we we did that to a to a to a sort of, what's the word to a I don't know I can't, I can't really think of the word but to a to a certain extent that's the word I was thinking of. We did that to a certain extent, but um. You know, it, the first half probably wasn't the, the the best. Let's be honest. We um, we 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 didn't start too you know brightly. We we were we weren't getting on the front foot like we were hoping we would. Um, Sligo had a bit more of the ball. They were knocking it about well, but you know, without without really creating any big chances or anything. But you know, you know, in these sort of games, you want to be starting on the front foot and and getting the, getting the ball forward and creating chances. But we weren't quite doing that. We were a bit slow. We were. You know, we we were letting Sligo have the ball a bit too much, I think. But you know, other than other than um, I think Afalabi hit the crossbar with a chance, and and that was it really. We didn't really test Sligo that much. And second half, we we went into it knowing that you know we need to see a bit of better performance. We need to see us get on the front foot a bit more, try and create a few more chances. And and we we did we did that. You know, Afalabi gets a goal then. Um, he holds the ball up well, lays it back to James McMahon and see he plays a true ball towards uh, Dylan Conley. Br uh, Richard Brush comes out and tries to tries to claim it but doesn't get there. Conley knocks it past and uh, he's out Brush, Brush is out of his goal and he, all Conley has to do is play it across the box and after Labby's there to finish it and we're one nil up then and you're thinking, right, let's build on this. You know, we've started the second half well, you know, let's let's try and get a couple more and see this game off and you know and then um in the seventy third minute, then Ali Koo finishes a chance. Um, another ball into the box by Dylan Conley. Um, I think it takes a bit of an, a, a nick off a Sligo player on the way through. Ali Koo starts to finish it though, and yeah, we're tuning it up. Then you're thinking, yeah, look, it's probably game over now. We're we're, we're coasting to a, to a victory here. We come out second half a lot stronger. Um, then I think in the eighty fifth minute, Afalabi um finishes it finishes a chance. Um. And yeah, that that sees the game off really. And then I know obviously it's slowly going there and get a penalty in the last minute. Uh, they, they took it away there. Mart Martello, I think it was. He had to he had to retake it. I think in the in the end, but um, well, he did. And um, yeah, he put it away. And and, and yeah, we're going, you know, disappointed to not keep a clean sheet. But look, you're you're happy with the three points, I suppose. And yeah, look, like I said, it was a much better second half performance. You know, we we said that a lot lately. You know, we, we saw it in the uh, in the shells game. We we started slow. We got one nil down, and you know, we we come out of second half a lot better, and we we, we get the point. But in this time around, you know, we we get all three, and that's 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 the important thing. You know, we we knew going into the game that with shells up in the talent, they probably they probably lose it, which they did. It was one nil. Um. And you know it was a good opportunity for us to get three points at home to a team who have struggled for a large parts of the season. Um, and yeah, look, I think we you know we obviously we need to work on starting games a bit faster. I think um, you know if we've got some big games coming up, and I think if you know Galway in, in the cup next week, if we don't if we put in a first half performance like that, we could be in trouble because we see how we we seen how Galway can start games. You know, I think they were four and a little at half time against Dundalk. They were two and a little up in ten minutes against that long there last night. So, you know, they they they, they certainly know how to make fast starts in games and, and we need to be wary of that. Um so but look, we're not, not looking too far ahead. Obviously that's next week, next Saturday, but more on this game. Look like I said, poor start, but we, we we get into it then in the second half. You know, I thought some of the standouts there last night. I thought David Conley was brilliant. He was probably man of the match for me. Uh, I know Afalabi got two goals, but I think you know Dylan Conley's more great his pace. You can always rely on him to put in a good performance, even when you know you're probably a little bit disappointed with his end product. But I think I think we are starting to see a bit a bit more improvement in that in that um, in that area from Dylan Conley in in, in terms of his his, um, his end product. You know, I think he got two assists there last night. Um, you know, I think he he'll, he'll I think the goal will start coming from soon hopefully uh he just needs to get start getting himself into the right positions but he's he's doing that you know he's he got the two assists and and look fair play to him i think he's been brilliant these past few months and i think clark and afalabi have been obviously getting the the, the headlines and the plot it's rightly so you know they've been brilliant these past this whole of the season really but I think Dylan Conley's been a bit of an unsung hero these past uh, couple of months. You know, he is getting the credit now, thankfully. But 
uh, you know, I think he, he was brilliant last night. I think Ali Koo, you know, he's looking like the player he was back at the start of the season. Um, obviously, his, his, his opportunities in the first team have been have been limited in, in terms of starts. Um, he's been coming off the bench a lot in the past couple of months, you know, maybe often late in games where he hasn't got much time to affect the game. But now he's starting games and he's playing well and he, he took his goal well last night as well. So, you know, that, that, that's all we can ask from him, you know. <clears throat> Whether he'll be here next season, I don't know. Look, he's probably thinking, you know, I'm not getting much game time here. I might go and try and they will challenge somewhere else where I will. But look, he's he's performing for us now at a, at a crucial stage of the season, and that that's all we can ask from him. Um, Afanabi, yeah, look, he's back in the score sheet after a couple of games without a goal, two well taken goals. Um, you know, he's he's joint top goal scorer in the league now with, with Chris Forrest on tour then, and you know, with the games he have left, he, he'll be looking to to grab that goal and build and look. Again, like I said about Ali Kill, whether he'll be here next season, I don't know. It doesn't seem like he will, but let's just enjoy him while we can and let's hope he, he can continue to score goals in these last five games and, and win us the cup and get us into Europe. That's that's ultimately what we want. Um I thought Boko played really well in the midfield as well. He was getting stuck in. He um he was he was getting his foot in and, and putting in tackles and winning the ball back. And look, you can always rely on Boko to put in before performance like that in midfield you know that's that's his best position you know he's not a right back you know i think the voice found that out now you know we back i think you know bar i thought bar did did okay as well that right back you know you're, you're thinking now with you know boko has got to got to be a mainstay in that midfield now from now until the end of the season um yeah look like i said it's it's a good win it's a good three points a good second half performance you know need to work on starting games a bit faster though however um otherwise we, we might get punished in that Galway game you're looking for if we're not if we're if we're slow to start, you know, Galway could, could sense an opportunity there to, to get a couple of goals and, and then you're thinking, oh God, like that's you know all these all these games over the past couple of weeks where we where we started slow it, it, it just have happened again and we, we don't want that in the cup semi final. We've got to we've got to be starting fast in those games. But yeah, look, a good performance all round, you know. For a lot of good individual performances, you know, first half we could have we could have done better. Obviously, you know, it's not like Sligo or Pepper and us or anything. You know, create big chance, but you know, you want to get on the front foot and all sort of in 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 these games in the first half. You got to put put um stake your claim, I suppose, in these games. You know, um, start fast, get on the ball, create chances. We we didn't really do that, but look. Second half, he came out and played well, and there was a lot of good individual performances. Like I said, Conley very good, Boko, Afalabi, Clark, uh, Bart, you know, a lot of good individual performances last night. Even the players that came off the bench uh, played their part. Flores got the assist for Afalabi's uh, second goal. So, yeah, good night all around. Another three points. We go ahead of Shells now by, by two points. You know, next league game is UCD. I don't think Shells are playing um <laughs> next Friday at home to Dundalk the week we have Galway in the cup so hopefully Dundalk will do us a favour there and look I know we don't have a very good record out in UCD but you'd like, you'd like to think we'll get the three points there but yeah look let's just take one game at a time a good three points Um, now on to Galway in the cup semi-final massive game uh, good luck to anyone tonight getting tickets you know uh, seven o'clock link goes out so I wish us all the best of luck in, 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 um, in trying to get tickets but yeah that's where I'll end it make sure you like subscribe share comment down below what you're thinking heading into the Galway game uh, I'll do the preview for that this week obviously comment down below what you thought about the game last night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.